Hey, it's Alec Kermit. So, a while back, Loitz found a trick in Countdown that skipped multiple silo rooms, but it was thought to be too difficult and risky for a console run. But I put some time into it today, and it turns out that it's actually pretty easy and consistent. In fact, I've gotten it like 25 times in a row. So, here's a walkthrough for it. You go through the first room like normal, and then in the second room, you go into this right hallway right here and there's some armor in here and there's this door that doesn't open but just through the glass there is the Omega sector door which is basically the end of the silo section um, so we're gonna skip to that early so you want to get into this corner here and do a standard clip down into the floor I like to aim between this dark smudge and this corner here so here we are and you want to stay crouched now you're going to turn to the right and get up against this invisible wall. This runs all the way down, um, so there's no chance of you falling or messing up here. And then look upwards so you can kind of keep an eye on this junk above you. Now we're going to move to the left, and right here where this gray wall is, there's this pressure point just to the left of us, and we need to pass over it um, just to the left of it. So what I like to do is press the control stick, just tap it about midway pressure and you'll pop over the other side just like this. Uh, it's real important that you don't go too far to the left here because you'll fall out of bounds and it's game over if that happens. So you just kind of apply mid pressure, tap it a few times and then stop uh, pressing the control stick once you pop over. Uh, we also need to keep track of this spot right here. You can see this triangular point. Um, that's where we're going to jump to here in a second, so you need to keep your eye on that uh, as we pass over because we're going to need to jump to it, but it disappears, so I'm going to pass over the spot, and I know it's right there, so I'm going to turn towards it. So you pass over the spot, turn towards there, and hold forward and mash jump, and you'll land about where this area was that we were aiming at. And now you're going to go towards the silo room. If you turn to the left, it's visible, but if you turn too much to the right, it disappears. I'm going to put an annotation on the screen right now. This is where we need to jump to. There's this sloped floor there, and if you jump towards that spot, there's basically no chance of you falling down into the out-of-bound space. But if you jump anywhere else, you're probably not going to make it. Um, so get a visual of where it's at, then turn towards it, hold forward, and mash jump. And here we are. And now that we're in bounds, you can see what I was talking about. This is where we want to land, anywhere in this area. And then you just go uh, to the next section. So yeah, that's it. Um, props to Loitz for finding the trick. I really didn't change much of how it uh, how it's done. I just uh, figured out how exactly to do it every time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.